Howdy folks. Today's uh, soap is going to be from Razwar. It's called uh, Spice Age. And this is citrus and black pepper. Uh, this soap is a lot like uh, What the Puck from Razor Rock. It's a very hard, very firm soap. You're not sticking your finger in this one. <laughs> it's pretty solid. When I was just smelling this uh, soap right off the puck, I smell more of the black pepper and less of the citrus. But once I start to uh, lather it up, I've uh, got more of the citrus and then less of the black pepper. This is a uh, follow-up shave from Sunday Shave. Today's Monday for me. And uh, with the uh, Bevel DE Razor. This will be the uh, second shave on the uh, Feather Blade. And I'm going to be following the shave up with some Vineyard uh, Citrus Musk. I've got it whipped up here in a Sarabachi bowl and got a little carried away I got quite a bit of lather in there and this um, uh, this brush is the one that I was showing on Sunday in the video this uh, came by the way of Raya's Restorations got his uh, account down below with um, with his Instagram account you can see his uh, work his handiwork with uh, restoring bowls uh, not bowls but I'm sorry <laughs> brushes uh, he's got, he's done quite a few. There's, there's some really nice vintage brushes that he's refurbished. Really nice. He's got some, he's done some very unique ones too. Some that I've never seen before in the way of vintage brushes. I would have put a hot towel to the face in the bloom water. Worked it into my face as a pre-shave. This is another one of those soaps that you're going to want to, probably going to want to bloom because just the the scent coming off uh, off the soap while it's blooming is is pretty nice. This is the uh, only soap that I have that uh, has black pepper in it, and uh, I was very apprehensive when I first got it, especially once I uh, popped the top open the lid and I uh, can smell mostly black pepper and I will tell you the black pepper is ever present in other words when I say I can smell the citrus it's uh, the citrus is coming out more so but the black pepper I mean it's just it is just right there so if you're not a big fan of uh, black pepper this may not be a soap for you or hard puck as far as that goes. In a way this uh, soap reminds me of uh, when it comes to firmness and being hard of a Williams uh, mug soap if you got any experience with a puck like that or even uh, Mitchell's Wolf ad. It's a, it's a hard puck. Throughout yesterday, I was, uh, I guess you might say, testing uh, how well the shave went with the uh, bevel razor, and I, um, I'm pretty sure if I didn't, I should have mentioned that this is a pretty efficient razor, and uh, my say, my my face stayed fairly smooth for throughout the day. This is a pretty efficient razor. If you uh, follow along on uh, Google Plus, especially on the um, uh, Douglas's group, um, How to Grow a Mustache, Google Plus, there's a gentleman that. Uh, post his shave of the day a while back Don the Navy Goat and 
and he posted uh, his shave with a bevel and commented that he felt like this was a pretty good razor. So what got me interested in it. So if you're wondering, I mentioned it from time to time, I do look at a lot of postings and uh, take the time to read what's said about, uh, about their shave. I don't always have time to comment on all of them. But uh, that one there is the, uh, I guess you might say, the driving factor influencing me to give it a try. Especially since I found it on eBay uh, with the shipping, $25. And I put a link there on eBay. I got a link there underneath uh, the video. And that's just the one where I found. There's another one that I noticed that was, I think, around $21. Uh, this advertisement says that this is a new razor. Not so sure about that part there. But for $25 or even at $21 being used, those were just the ones I noticed right off the top. That, uh, it's a pretty good buy. But like most of these razors, uh, I'd be careful with it. In other words, don't drop it on a hard floor. Because that, that post is like it is in a, a number of uh, shavers that are three-piece design like this. That post will be the, the weak point where it may break. But for me... I'd have to say this is a this is a pretty nice shaver. As it goes for the threads, if you decide this is not quite the handle for you, there is um, that opening right there where this snugly fits up in there to keep everything nice and snug. That lip. Feeling that uh, opening there the lip that's on the handle I think it's pretty uh, important that if you're looking for a handle you're going to have to find a handle that's big enough to help fill that void I do have a uh, the handle that I had that filled most of that void came by the way of Mac Metalworks and um, That was the only one I had. That would fill that void for the most part. But you can snug it up to the point where it, it's not going to move. So if you were looking for a handle that was shorter than this one here, you could most definitely find one because the threads are seem to be the, I guess you might say, the standard threads. Not quite the uh, like the icon where the uh, the threads uh, not necessarily standard. At least my experience hasn't been. In other words, when I bought the a head from them, head best base plate. Not every uh, handle would fit on those threads. Yeah, this is pretty efficient. Like I said, my, my face stayed pretty smooth throughout the day. I could have got by with a one-pass shave this morning, in other words. So I kind of see where they're going with it if, you're, if your beard growth is not really fast. I mean, I have stubble, but it wasn't a whole lot. It's a pretty efficient shaver. This brush has a uh, cashmere knot in it. And uh, he did a really nice job on this brush.
this is going to be a really nice shave, I can tell. By the way, in case I didn't mention it, this is Monday morning. So I'm doing this shave before I go to work and I'll get it out. Providing YouTube uh, cooperates. Every once in a while, I've noticed here late that has been giving me a hard time on how long it takes for the video to upload and run into problems. If you're an experienced DE shaver, in other words, you get your head, get the angle down right. Yeah, the, I mean, even for anything in the way of pickups, and it's more about the different directions all my hair grows. And this side over here is usually the side. Get a very smooth shave with this razor. But don't think I see somebody complaining about her. Not exactly happy with would be the length of the handle, which that's you know, it's just personal preference and how long of a handle you want for your shaver. Really smooth shave. some stinging right there probably a lot of that has to do with them since this is before I go to work I don't hang say waste a whole lot of time I gotta get busy with it <laughs> gotta get this done and get ready for work it usually takes me a moment to get this knocked out this is Humphrey's witch hazel lilac Lilac, at least with my nose, I pick it up when I first start with it, and shortly thereafter, I don't, I don't even notice it anymore. It's the reason why I don't have a problem using it on a daily basis. I don't feel like that the the scent of the lilac of the uh, witch hazel interferes with the uh, aftershave. This one here in the lime sec, I really do like. And it comes in a, a sizable container. Yeah, that's a pretty good match. Lime comes out in this one. I really like this. It's one of those I could use on a, in other words, every other day basis along with the lime. And <laughs> when it comes to citrus, it's pretty good stuff. Matter of fact, this container is uh, 12 and a half ounces. So even though you might be ch paying upwards of what, $12 for it, something like that, for 12 and a half ounces, that's not too bad. The face feels great. Then I show off this brush. That's what I got left in the knot there. That's what it looks like there. This is a beautiful brush. Like I said, I got a link to his uh, Instagram account down below. Really nice shave this morning. So if you're interested or was thinking or considering a bevel razor, but you're not looking forward to paying the, maybe the $50 for just the razor, might check out eBay. Like I said, that that account that I got linked there is just a I guess you might say just to get you there. Got a really nice shave. Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.